Yeah, so before I really start this video, I just want to wholeheartedly thank all the people who subscribed and made me thoroughly shit my pants. I doubled in size, that is, subscriber count, which, by the way, if you haven't subscribed and liked already, you should do that instantly, because... Well, you know, we're an amazing community here, you know? I'm arguably the best content creator around. I mean, just look at my subscriber count. It's amazing. It's so big. The channel's gonna hit 100 million one day. So be part of the cause now before we get too big, man. Watch our rise to the top. In any case, let's get on with the video topic, which is why you probably clicked on the damn video. So yeah, here we go. Like usual in these quarantine days, my fat ass was sitting around looking at my computer screen. And I was just, you know, preparing and setting up a game that me and my friends would play online. When all of a sudden, I got a notification, a Twitter notification to be exact, which on any other occasion, I would dread and hate and whine and bitch and cry and moan, because honestly, fuck Twitter sometimes. But also, I love Twitter. It's awesome. It's hilarious. It's basically like a love-hate relationship. I have a toxic relationship with Twitter, mainly because most of the people on there are toxic, or at least a good majority. Maybe not all of them, but you get the idea. But praise be to Lord Allah above. He has. I was blessed with a Twitter notification from Father Diesel Patches, the world's best gay woman YouTuber with over 1 million subscribers. And the first to hit that milestone, by the way, so congrats to her. So, because it was from Father Diesel, I happily opened up Twitter. It did not feel foul anymore. It did not feel like I was opening up a porn book when I'm a kid. Doing something you're not supposed to be doing if you want to be, well, you know raised well. And so yeah, I did that. I opened up Twitter and I looked at Father Diesel's tweet. However, it was astonishing. It was a cancel-worthy tweet. That's right, folks. Father Diesel Patches expressed his opinion on Twitter. <laughs> Sorry, it's just too much for me to handle. I, I, I can't believe he did this. I, I'm, I'm fucking... I'm so mad. How could he ever do this? He was so perfect! In all seriousness, Diesel Patches had made a reply tweet to a man called Bo Blacks, who's a commentary YouTuber who does, I guess it would be like archiving of Twitter and other social media threads. I think he mainly does Twitter and stuff like that, but yeah, that's what he does. And I guess in a sense, that's what I'm about to do right now, but you know, on a smaller scale. So yeah, let me just read you that thread real quick. Bo Black says, I don't get the hate for trans people. Why do people care if they're a real man or a real girl? They look and act like that gender, so who cares what they were born as? Almighty Father Daddy Diesel Patches replies, I used to dislike it, but now I don't care anymore. I do have an issue with people who expect me to call them by their preferred pronoun, though. The argument, but it's so easy, is dumb when I don't think it's right. I'm tolerant of their lifestyle, and that should be enough. Bo Blanks responds, I think if you do it by mistake, it shouldn't be an issue, but if you do it on purpose, like calling a clear female-looking trans girl, he, that's just a dick move. In response, Mega Father Diesel says, Fair enough. Would I do that in public to make a point? No, I'd be way too scared and comfortable. But in my mind, I don't agree with it. I'd be more than happy to change my mind on the subject, because maybe I am missing something here. Boblox responds, What is it that you don't agree with? Is it that transitioning is not a healthy solution to gender dysphoria, in your opinion? Or something else? King Diesel Patches responds, I believe transitioning is fine if no other option works. I'm not a doctor or anything, so I'm not gonna say you have to be this age to transition. But with children being involved in this stuff, it really irks me. Bo Black replies, I'm against child transitioning too. Transitioning is a life-changing choice, like getting a house, car, married, etc. You can't make that choice properly as a child. IMO. And that pretty much marked the end of that Twitter thread, at least the conversation between Diesel Patches and Boblax. So what many people gather from this is that Diesel Patch is transphobic. At least that's what the general populace believed. You know, they were like, ah, oh, so Father Diesel from the Council of the Patches Kingdom, or whatever the fuck, he's actually transphobic. Wow, I hate him now. Personally, I was interested in what was happening, so that's part of the reason why I'm making a video now, because I'm showing you my findings, and, well, you know, I spent time trying to figure out what was happening. And honestly, it wasn't even that big of an investigation. I'm making it out to be some detective's crime that I have to solve over the course of many years. Nah, bro, Diesel just tweeted his response to the whole thing, so that's what I'm gonna read next. First thing he said after doing that little reply thread type of deal, you know, that little conversation with Bo Blacks. On his main, he tweeted, I made the mistake of getting political on Twitter, but did open my mind on some stuff. And you've got this Asian egg person with some, I believe it's some kind of Asian text, maybe Chinese or Japanese. P please don't call me racist. I I'm just throwing some options out there. I, I really don't fucking know. I d the fuck. Now I'm gonna be canceled just like Diesel. Awesome. Thankfully, we have the nice, happy ending, the nice little resolution to this epic story. Last but not least, Diesel Patches says, If it makes anyone feel better or if anyone cares, I've changed my mind on referring to others by their preferred pronoun. 
The child transition stuff is still wrong as fuck to me though. And with that amazing, heroic, protagonist-like change of heart, Diesel Patches was saved from certain cancellation. At least on Twitter. He probably wouldn't have given a fuck, he would've just worked on this movie review channel. If he got quote-unquote cancelled, that is, which he didn't, I think. I mean, look at this reply, I mean, look at this tweet of mine. By the way, I do tweet, follow my Twitter. See it in the video right there, so yeah, do that. Or not, you know, and be a fucking dickhead about it. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, as I was saying, look at that. Look at how many likes I have. All those likes indicate that he is not cancelled. That's a good amount of likes, man. And as you all know, the more likes you have on Twitter, the more correct you are. So yeah, that was about the most interesting thing that happened today. I guess yesterday Eminem got cancelled, so I missed that, but who gives a fucking shit? Eminem can't be cancelled. He only cares about his daughter and his family. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Remember, if you haven't done so already, like, subscribe, all that good shit. Let's get to 100 million by the end of the month uh something like that you know we're definitely gonna make it to 100 million everyone just needs to subscribe so go ahead and do that real quick for me every single fucking sub is appreciated and i do mean that so yeah thank you all follow my other socials you know check out the twitch if you want to see live content from me we have good times over there and yeah that about wraps it up that's it thank you all for watching today and as always this has been your boy jras Wondering why Diesel Passes is such a misogynistic, transphobic piece of shit. I hate him so much. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was disgusting. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. Yeah. Signing off. Peace. <laughs>